Hello everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Frostpunk. The Timix here, it's day 42 in New London. The A New Home campaign, and we are in some serious trouble at the moment. It is going to just continue getting colder, and this is going to be a big day of even more adjustments. as we try to accomplish some more things here. It's all about really keeping enough coal, for, coal to keep everybody warm. That's pretty much the only deal here. And there's some adjustments we have to make. First of all, we're going to need another cookhouse because I forgot that that's where people go to eat when I took all this stuff down. It didn't occur to me. Now, it should be obvious in retrospect, but it wasn't at the time. And it doesn't have to operate. It just has to be built. So I'm just going to throw it in over here. So I'm going to want to get that built. And then we've got to make some adjustments to these, uh, you know, the, the coal thumper areas while we are get ready for the steam version to come in so in order to do that well first of all I don't need this shrine down there and I want to max uh, shrines out in all of these areas so there we go so I want to build a shrine well before I do that I want to build a street across here and then let me just throw a shrine in the middle. And then I've discovered that the one steam hub is unfortunately not enough for this setup. So in order to really make sure I hit everything, I need to put one over there and one on this side. And then I'm gonna to wanna to take that one down. So we've got all of that going on here. And that'll make sure that everything gets hit by, let's see, where's the, Shrine's going to hit everything, the field kitchen's going to hit everything, the, the steam hubs, everything is going to be warm. So that's going to be excellent. Now over here, I'm going to want another shrine. Might as well leave the other one up where it is. But I'd like to throw one, like, up there, say, and make sure we hit everything in this area. And then this field kitchen, not going to cover everything. So I want a new one of those, and I basically want it right where this is, more or less. So I want to take that down. And then let's build a new gathering post up there. Um, so probably this and those gathering posts, something like that. Field kitchen over here. And um, yeah, the other the other thing is is I, I really think I've just got to go all out with even more more coal thumpers, more houses of healing. I'm just going to have to build a whole bunch of stuff because we just the the needs that we're going to have are just ridiculous. So over here. Again, this doesn't quite cover everything. I'd like it to be here. So I want to dismantle this. Then I can put that automaton over in that. It's going to refuel, but whatever. And then I want to get the gathering post. Where is, where is that at? I want to get that right here. And then I'll build a new field uh, kitchen there when that goes down. I want a new coal thumper in this area as well. I'm not sure why it won't fit there, but like right here seems to me to be a decent location. Or even there, and there's already a field kitchen there. Like and actually, I think this is going to be better. 
because up there is where the, uh, you know, this is where the, the stuff comes out. So this field kitchen would handle that. Let's get some more gathering posts. Ah, uh, there's a bit of a street there, that's my problem. I may only be able to fit three in here. So that could, that could be a bit of an issue, but it's still worth building it. You know, even if I can only get three out of the four. And then, let's see about just driving this all the way through. Of course, we'll want another steam hub. Somewhere like there. Now here's our field kitchen covering everything. And let's get another shrine. There we go. Now you can see we're going to run out of wood. So I'm going to solve that by knocking this down and some of these. So there is just going to be a massive operation going underway today. There's no other way about it. Let's knock these down as well. And that one. Just trying to create space. I want to knock this street down. And I want to take that down. Because I want to put more houses of healing over in that area. And this is just not going to... Wondering if there's any way... Doesn't, it doesn't want to build it in places where that other stuff could go. I could build one over here, but there's no way to get heat to it. Um, so I don't want to do that, at least not now. And that field kitchen will want to go down. But I should be able to build more over there. Yeah, and that's pretty much going to take care of our wood for the moment. So let me... Uh, let me clear that out. Let me make sure I have enough wood for everything else. And then, you know, I'm going to just take down, literally, it's at the point where I want to take down everything I don't need for the wood. I could also try to consolidate, you know, I may try to consolidate some of our, so I could fit in another uh, resource depot over here. See, it's steel, coal, coal. I probably don't need these three. Let me take down those three. And then I can build another gathering post in here. That'll finish up that one. And I think I'm going to be happy with that for the time being. But as you can see, this is going to be a massive project. The goal, again, is coal. Uh, you know, we, we, I, it looks like we're going to have plenty of food, although that depends on how many food kitchens I've got to run. But it's all about the coal here. So let's see what we can get built this morning. And uh, for the reasons of how much we're doing here, this is just, it's going to be a slow progress day. Um, it may be the most, you know, massive day in terms of rebuilding and everything that I've done. Hell's frozen over, can't hear my own thoughts because of the wind. Um, and, you know, frankly, I just want to go around and just knock down all of this stuff. We could deal with having more after the storm, but, uh, you know, right now, the only thing that matters at all is just getting everything, you know, that we need. 
and you know I, I think that's about it really so now it is you know it is about to get colder and you can see that we're already chilly so it's going to be cold in people's houses but again I can't do anything about that because the overdrive situation so you know a little bit after closing time today which is a long way off right now I'll want to deal with that but can't do it right at the moment um, you know and frankly we don't need we don't need the outpost depots so let's cannibalize them let's get rid of the beacon uh, there's nobody outside right now we only thing we care about is what's inside we can always deal with other stuff later so let's just go ahead and and knock all of those out and the cold strikes even more there we go. There we go. Now we want to turn on now any of the steam hubs and a little bit get everybody to work and that's going to take a while. So I'm just going to do that off screen uh, per usual. So here we can see that the um, House of Healing has been built. Everybody's happy with that. All I really did here is turn the steam hub on and put some people in it. And then uh, the coal thump coal supply has also been secured by putting some people in those over there. People feel real assured, reassured with your decisive action. Additional coal thumpers and gathering posts have been built to make sure the coal supply is secured for the duration of the storm. Unfortunately, I think we're going to need more than they asked for. But there is still more work to do in getting ready for the workday. And on we go here. As we've got more stuff roaring to life all the time. And here's a steam hub going live there. Wait a bit. There we go. Now let's get people to work in these. I'm going to need the, yeah, there, that field kitchen. And oh my, we've got stuff going on here. What's this all about? Okay. Forgot a steam hub. Get that thing to life. Come on. There we go. So there was some, some unnecessary suffering for the people over there, of course. And that's because of this one. Because I wanted to build the steam hub in a different place. Okay, there we've got uh, new resources acquired. Some more food. There, now let's tear that down. We can see our foods, our wood supply has, has risen, which is great. We're down to less than 2,900 coal. That's not so great. And, uh, you know, so we're constantly building stuff, but the big thing is we're about to hit the steam coal pumper. There it is. Okay. So now, first of all, we're just going to upgrade all of those immediately. And all right, this is a problem. I don't know why they're freezing there. Okay, I think I just need to shut that down and then I'll put more people in here when that one gets built. Just gotta constantly be addressing these little problems that crop up. And there's five now, two, three, four, five, steam coal thumpers going in place and that may not be all that's what's going in place right now going to need to do everything i possibly can to keep that supply going 
and see how that goes. And I want to get everybody to work before I start building anything else now, I think. Nope. Stop. Got to do more research. Don't forget the research. Okay. So, definitely want to boost the gathering post insulation. That's going to be the next item on the agenda. And... Okay, let's go forward a bit here. There's the new field kitchen here. So, let's drop that one. And put that into place. And we're going to want people to go going to work in all these new gathering posts as soon as these uh, steam coal thumpers get in position. So that's what we're looking at now. We're going to see how low the coal gets while we work that. Take a few hours. So let's uh, let's roll on that Get that field kitchen in operation. And we're getting close on some of these. Here's a couple. Alright, so let's... Oh, that's got everybody in it. So now as soon as those are up, I want to fill in these. And they're not going to be able to do anything yet until there's resources available. But let's get them in there so they're ready to start gathering it up. And this one's in place. See these bump up to chili as soon as we throw the heaters on and put them in there. And of course, the heaters are going to churn through some coal, but the idea is not as much as they're going to gather. So it's crucial to keep a supply. You see, we're down to 10 hours worth. There goes one. Let's drop this other one over there. Boom, there goes that. All right, let's get all of these in place. Okay, down to nine hours worth of coal now, it says. And I think I just want to wait until all these people get into work at this point. See, we're only keeping a few hungry people now because I put up the cookhouse. If you don't do that, from the point where I was, there's literally hundreds of people by the end of the day. Okay, so now we're yeah, you're getting people going to eat, but starting to get in there. Let's see now. Now the coal's starting to climb. Starting to climb faster. Over 3,000. So now we're starting to win the battle against the uh, against the coal supply, but it's not enough to win it by a little bit. We got to win it by a lot. Okay. So now I think. Oh no, we don't quite have everybody in, but it's almost everybody. Our usual time, 1500. So let's pull out the automatons. And we got almost 400 wood left. That's a decent amount. 
and still 200 and some left in that sawmill. But without tearing down all those buildings, we would have been in serious trouble. And we're going to have to spend quite a bit of wood tonight, so we may need to tear down more. Uh, now we're down to one infirmary. Every little bit helps. See, now we're up to 14 hours. Getting some more hungry people, haven't had time to go eat yet. They'll get it done eventually. We're working on crawling our way towards that gathering post insulation. And there it is with just over an hour to go. Now, I'm going to be able to turn off now the field kitchen. It's not going to be able to stay off. Um, they're probably only going to be able to be off for tonight, actually. But being off for tonight is, you know, the last hour or so of the shift is still something. Save a little bit of food, save a little bit of coal that way. Now what's next? Well, let's improve the insulation even more. Now efficient gathering boosts by 15% and would seem to go with the coal thumpers uh, you know injectors which would also increase by 15% so we're definitely going to want to get those. But let's get the insulation to keep our people as healthy as possible while they work first. Okay, let's move that onward. I want to do some more building, but I'm going to do that later tonight, after we close. We can see back up over 4,000. And, oh yeah, that, that's into the red zone, so I'm just going to stop here. Obviously, I'm going to want to adjust our storage to get a little more coal storage. Um, food rations are gradually going down, so I might be able to take some from there, take some from somewhere else. And uh, then we're going to want to, of course, get everybody out of work and see what happens overnight. We're obviously going to need to deal with a health situation because we're going to have a whole bunch of sick people. So let's just uh, I'll take a, do that off screen and then come back shortly. Okay, we're off again. A whole bunch of these shut down. As you can see, it says we got about a day's worth supply now. Automatons heading off to their normal work. Um, but uh, what I did for that is I just put them over here in the gathering posts and had them grab the ones that had the most. So there's 300 left over there. So that's why I did that. And I'm building more houses. Another triple area of houses of healing over there um, so that's how all that is working at the moment what I want to do is I want to turn on the overdrive uh, when I I'm, I'm gonna try starting it at 21 now, first of all, there's nobody sick right now. So, I'm going to shut this steam hub off, and I'll turn it on as soon as anybody gets sick. But, uh, again, you know, that's just that's saving more. Um, yeah, new law. I don't want a new law. Although, it wouldn't hurt to just see if there's anything past. I don't think there is. Yeah, there's nothing past the House of Healing, so there's nothing more going that way. Nothing more we want. Okay, so, about another hour, you can see we've got more sick people, but, uh, you know, they, they, they can go eat, if they'd like. There we go, we've got more buildings going up. Or, more hungry people, I meant to say, not sick people. And still no sign of when the end of this might be. Okay, now let's hit it with the overdrive. And I want to be able to keep this on until 8 o'clock in the morning when 
a sizable amount of people are going to go to work. That's the idea here. So now, with that on, everybody's comfortable. People will stop getting sick, at least for the moment. And we're, you know, gradually going down on the coal, but I think we're going to come into the morning with a lot more coal than we have right now, which is the general idea. Or not that we have right now, but than we had yesterday. I want to be able to ramp up that amount each day. And as long as I think I've got enough um, of these to do it. Because obviously if you look forward, like starting here, I mean, we're not going to be able to work on that day at all. So, that's just a thing that's going to happen. Still nobody sick as we head towards the turn. Of course, a lot of people hungry again, but they can go eat. We have food for them. Alright, so it's just past midnight here. I've turned on a couple of infirmaries. I uh, turned on this steam hub as we've got 12 sick. 170 hungry, but there's food for them, so they can get that whenever. And then, it's refueling now, but I've also moved out um, one of the automatons. The other, like, gathering posts don't have that much, and it's almost gone here, so I need to move one of them into the gathering post to, um, you know, grab up more coal there as they continue their work. So the main thing that we're going to be looking at here is just tracking the number of, yep, there it goes up over 23, so I'm just going to be regularly needing to adjust this. Then if we turn the heaters off, we're fine, but we can't, we can't make it without, um, you know, w w without the steam hub. So we just, we, we don't need the heaters on in these, so I can still run that and actually we shouldn't need the heaters at all um regardless uh just just the steam hubs should be enough to keep these warm uh because even tomorrow when it gets one level below they'll still be a chilly so that's a nice thing so we just want to keep it moving forward and 27 29 and there we're up over 30. So we can see it's only just after 1 in the morning. We're definitely going to have a lot of sick people. A lot of people needing to work. And Okay, see this is... Oh, that's the wrong one. That's why. That one's in place. So now as they increase, obviously I'm going to want to turn this on as well. Yep, and there we've there we've hit 40. So just keep boosting up the infirmaries as time passes. And those steam hubs are going to drain more resources, but that's much better than the alternative, obviously, of not treating them. Okay, and there we go. Now that's 70 of them in. So now, I'm going to want to prepare over here. I'm going to want to turn that on. And then also, I'm obviously not... This one I'll want over here, but I'm not going to need that field kitchen. I, I'm obviously not going to need the ones. Um, I'm sort of over protecting here. Well, that's not true. I might need them when it drops here. So let me let me just sort of reverse that decision. But I want this one to be on so that I'm ready to staff these uh, when we get up that high. Assuming we do get up that high and it keeps yep, it's gonna keep climbing. Okay. There we go, 77. Let's staff a couple of these. Turn that off. And since we can put workers in here, why not just do that? Okay, 
so 80. I'll need another one when it hits uh, when it hits 90. And uh, yeah, it's three o'clock in the morning, so we should be too far from the limit. The question is, are we going to have enough for them all? And that sort of remains to be seen. Looks like we'll want to open up that one for sure. And then the next step would be to open this section, which I actually already left on. So there we go, there's another mistake. Looks like that might be it. Yeah, I think we're going to hold there. So we can fit 130 and we've got 120. So that's actually going to be fine. I'm going to go ahead and pause it there as we've reached uh, past 5 o'clock here. Um, but uh, we're trying to uh, keep up, but you can see coal definitely falling, and we're a big, big part of tomorrow is going to be just fighting to have enough, um, you know, store up enough coal to get through the night cycle again as the temperature drops even further. Of course, people are going to be going to eat and you know, this is really going to put a hit on our labor because we've got, you know, of our, you know, how many is it, uh, 500, 530, 540 uh, in the workforce. Um, and, you know, we've got almost half of them tied up either being sick or treating the sick. And I, th I still think we're going to have enough for at least most of everything but running all these coal thumpers and everything you know that that could get a little interesting so that's going to be a tough thing to watch as we you know work on the insulation here we'll see we'll see how that impacts uh, stuff obviously we're going to be needing to run the food kitchens and everything else so you know we, we may not be able to run all of those and that could really impact our coal. So that's going to be definitely going to be a big issue tomorrow. Okay, so that's day 42, though, in the books. 43 coming up soon as we continue to get into the worst of the Great Frost, although we aren't to the very worst of it yet. Be back soon with more of that. Until then, thanks for watching.